Zaki, I hear that Kajol is making her cricket debut soon because she was spotted at a Dolphins practice recently. Or do you think she was just teaching them some nifty footwork? Actually, no, but I know she did get some first-hand experience of what it feels like to face an all-rounder with an appetite for bat and ball. Let me guess, Cody Chetty, right first time. Cody Chetty first caught the cricket bug at the age of seven, and just ten years later, he made his first-class debut for KwaZulu-Natal. In addition to playing at provincial level, he was also selected for the South African Under-19 World Cup team and later for the SA Invitational against Pakistan. Of course, none of this would have been possible without countless hours of practice. When cricketers are on the field, especially when they're batting or bowling, they can be subjected to scrutiny in the most minute detail imaginable. This often happens when the game is slow and the commentators need something to say. They can be under the magnifying glass for hours on end, but we don't really find out about the individual behind the cricketer. Today I'm meeting up with Dolphins cricketer Cody Chetty to find out more about the player and the person. Cody, Hi, how are you? Good right. Thank you. <laughs> Cody, what sparked the interest in cricket for you? My dad and my older brother used to bring me to the stadium here to watch uh, watch the Dolphins play, and I used to watch them on TV as well. So as a kid, I always dreamt of playing for the Dolphins, and now that I have the opportunity, um, I'm the guy that's on the field wearing the shirt, and I've got kids watching me play. So that really inspires me a lot. Do you feel that you've realised your dream? Obviously, I'm playing for the Dolphins now, and, but my end goal is to play for South Africa, so maybe in the next few years, I could reach my goal one day. At what point in your game development did you decide cricket is going to be my career? When I made the Under-19 World Cup, uh, that's the junior South African team in 2010, um, I got back from the World Cup and I got offered my first contract with the Dolphins, um, which was the franchise that I grew up with, uh, the franchise that I loved. And uh, now to play for the Dolphins, I've been playing with them for about four years now, so uh, yeah, that's it. You know, I must admit, I'm usually a spectator when it comes to cricket, but after watching you, I think I'm going to give it a try. So, let's go for it. Let's do that. Right. That is quite simple. All you've got to do is just watch the ball and hit the ball. It sounds simple, but it's tough when the ball is coming at you at 140 k's and the ball is trying to hit you on the head. So, right. firstly, um, you, you obviously want to stand on middle stump, so that's middle stump. Mm -hmm. And then you put your feet probably shoulder width apart, and your head must be in line with the ball because you want okay. to hit the ball. And then when it comes, you just step, and then you swing away. Okay, so let, let, let me give it a try. try. <laughs> okay, that's fine, but you got to step into it. I have to step. So like step, step so you get like momentum gets, yeah. into the ball, yeah. Okay, let me step Ha ha ha! That's really good. That's okay, really good. good. I think with some practice, I can make a pretty good batsman. I think so. That's good. <laughs> well, I believe we have something waiting for us in the field. Yeah, if you go to the field, I can throw you a few balls. Maybe you can catch this thing. Am I going to catch it with gloves? You're going to have to use your bare hands because that's how we do it. So I think you're going to have to do that as well. I shall try. Let's go. Cody's all-round ability made him the perfect coach for Kajal if he had the patience. So Kajal, um, obviously we know cricket is not just batting and bowling, we've got to field in there as well, so let's see how good you are catching. Okay, watch the ball. One more. Ha -ha. Okay, good job. Okay, good, nice, good, nice, good. good. <laughs> Cody, who are some of your role models in cricket or role models in general? I would say Ashim Amla, as we know, is the Proteus captain now, and um, he was the guy that used to play for the Dolphins. Um, I grew up watching um, obviously at this field here, yeah. so um, he was the guy that I usually look up to. Um, and off the field, I would like to say my parents, they obviously inspired me a lot and they sacrificed a lot to be where I am today. What is your style and approach to the game? I would like to say my game is quite simple, but um, the guys in our team would like to say I bring, bring a little flair to the, to the game. Um, as we know, cricket is an ent uh, entertainment-based sport, so I would like to entertain the crowd. And obviously we get bigger crowds, so that's be better for us to play. And um, so I would like to say I'm quite aggressive. 
uh, in terms of feeding the ball, so uh, that's my style. What has been your greatest achievement thus far? I played for the South African A team about a couple of months ago, so that's the South African B side. Uh, we were in Australia and we played against India and Australia in a uh, triangular series, so that was probably my biggest achievement thus far. What about the game appeals to you? As we know, cricket is a team-based sport, but I think the camaraderie between the bowler and the batsman is, uh, is key. Um, Although you play as a team, but I think the individual battles on the field is, is very important because obviously the bowler is trying to get me out and I'm trying to get him for four. So I think that uh, competitive edge between the batter and bowler is key and that probably um, gets me fired up on the field. Yeah. Cody is currently a university student, so the sea helps to clear his mind between cricket, classes and study. Cody. We live in Durban, we have a beautiful beachfront, a beautiful city. What do you do to relax in between your training sessions? The beach is one of it. Uh, I just like to come out here, uh, listen to the waves. Uh, it's very relaxing. Uh, cricket or in sport in general is very... Um, there's a lot of pressure and stress from, from, from the fans, from your sponsors, from the CEO to the coach. So I think uh, it's very important to get away from the sport, uh, just try and get your mind clear and then refreshed for when you need to play. What advice do you have for any aspiring cricketers? I think one of the key things is you've got to accept failure. Um, sometimes people fail and then they dishearten and then they're down and then they end up giving up the sport. And I've seen a lot of guys go through that in a season where they fail for a bit and they just give up. And I think if you can, if you can accept failure, deal with it and then move on from there and then I think after that you can achieve whatever you want to achieve. Cody, thank you so much for joining us on Mela and we hope to see you play for South Africa in the main team very soon and we wish you everything of the best for the future. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Yeah. Cheers. Off the field, Cody Chetty is easygoing, but I've also seen the steel in his eyes when he's on the opposite side of the pitch, even in practice. It's that split personality that seems to characterize serious cricketers and it makes Cody all the more interesting.